welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. If you're new here, I'm Yoshida. I am a self-employed hairstylist. I'm also the owner of Norris Cove, which is an online stationery shop where we sell budgeting stickers, functional stickers. We also sell planning and business inserts, as you can see. Also, if today is your first time watching, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload more content like this. But today, you guys, we're going to get into my weekly budget. Listen, this week, <laughs> financially, I, I had a meltdown. I'm just going to be honest. I had a true <sighs> meltdown. Now, we, as always, we got to go in here, talk about last week, kind of close it out. Last week was supposed to be my busy week. That's why I guesstimated 1300 It wasn't my busy week. It was a little scarce, okay? Um, let's get into it. So here, we thought we would make thirteen hundred. We ended up making nine hundred and ninety-eight. Norris Cove. I said I was gonna pay myself a hundred. I had my a portion of my car note coming out. So what I did was went ahead and paid myself four hundred and fifty. But it really didn't even go to the car note because the car note was supposed to come out last week. So that money has been sitting there. So I'm I'm so confused. I don't know if I should take this out. You'll see why when we get into the numbers. The money's been sitting there. Wait, let me see. This week was the 4th through the 10th. I paid it last week. Oh, I don't know. But let's, let's move on because I'm so... Let's move on. So envelopes, I had to go into my envelopes again because, one, um, I had my sister's birthday boat ride I was going to pay for it so I was like fine I got $40 in birthday but I'm gonna take the rest of it out because I was assuming it was $116 so I'm like okay I'm just gonna take that out you know whatever that's what these envelopes are for well when I went to go pay it was $175 and I was like oh no I don't have that so life goes on work goes on I had a whole meltdown because I had to pay my CPA $375 that's another whole rent for another day each year she goes up i'm supposedly get a discount i think she gave my co-worker who i hit my co-worker to her she charged her 360 but charged me 375 i'm supposed to get a discount who got the discount okay so i had a whole meltdown because after i paid her i had one dollar in cash left so had a whole meltdown and I, I realized something i had to realize something i was let's put a pen in it real quick i realized something about myself um, I like money. I'm not going to even lie. I like working with numbers, but when I'm without money, I am hell. Okay. I'm just going to excuse my French, but I am pure hell when I am without. So I had a whole meltdown. So I just, anybody that was listening, I would tell them about when I had to pay my CPA 375 and I'm not getting any taxes back. I don't know. I need to move on from this rant, but anyway, so my coworker who I sent to my tax lady, I was telling her about it. I'm like, how you get the discount on that too? And I wasn't saying it like she owed me anything. I was just like, we have our own conversation about our CPA. So that was part of the rant. Bless her heart. She sent me $25 and I begged her, please take it back because, you know, it's, it's whatever. Because when I left that lady, first of all, I was there too long. When I left, I was hungry, but I only had a dollar. And I just didn't want to put on a credit card. It was just a whole situation. So anyway, my coworker gave me $25. The next day, I'm running to my sister. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm pure hell when I don't have anybody. And so I was just telling my sister, like, I could have took that money that I paid her. If I knew I wouldn't get anything back, I could have took the boat ride and, you know, saved up for the CPA. And that's the thing. I never know her prices. So, anyway, my sister sent me $20. So, that's how I have $45 here. <sighs> rent over. I don't even know if I'm going to leave that in there because the rent is just crazy. Anyway, I miscalculated how much I took out. So, I had to go back in. That was $135 of envelopes. So, our inflow total was six hundred sixteen hundred and twenty eight dollars Y'all, I was so excited that I didn't have quad pays and that I could put my money in. Let's say my Apple is attached to my inflow account. I just never changed it. I need to change it. And 
I had, you know, had money in there for it to come out. So that came out. My Walmart came out of $57. We guesstimated $60. We paid that last of firm. It came out this week. So even though I paid it last week, it came out this week, like on Monday, for $54.36. Or no, yeah, I paid it Monday, $54.36. Excuse me. Credit one. Uh, that was thirty dollars instead of forty. We still didn't pay Shopify, um, Apple Music, eleven sixty five. Canva, I don't know what's going on. The money was there, it didn't come out, so I don't know. T Mobile got their money. I had the money sitting there. They got it, y'all. I'm feeling real proud right now. <laughs> paid booth rent of two hundred and fifty dollars, and uh, American Home Shield is due actually today, which is the tenth. I ain't got it, so I'm gonna pay them on tomorrow, which is Monday. And then here, Ally, you see them in red. They're 450 so I did. That was another thing. I did transfer the money. That's why I said this was this week. I transferred the money from my business account to cover it. I got a notice stating that, oh, your, your money has posted or your car payment has posted. So that means they're about to take it out the next day. That was like on Tuesday. Y'all, they didn't get their Monday, money until yesterday morning, like at 12 a.m. Needless to say, that's that. So here I kind of got a little confused. I'm like, okay, what about this 450? Is that included in this or not? So I broke those two up. Without the car payment, it's 520. With the car payment, it's $970. Y'all, this gets so tricky, and I want y'all to kind of help me if you can figure out where this money is missing. We'll get into that. So over here, I had guesstimated that, you know, I'd have $150 left for sinking funds. I did not. Um, that do reminds me. So anyway, um, miscellaneous. I had, for some reason, budgeted like two fifteen twenty something. I can't, y'all, this is why you need to write things down. It, it's, I hope this video is not all over the place, but I'm all over the place, so <laughs> bear with me. Miscellaneous came in at $70.62. I thought, oh, that's where my money goes. No, ma'am. Eating out. Another category here. $192.73. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes I don't just be buying food for me. I will buy food for my daughter or my son or whoever. But this week it was me and my daughter. And really, I think only maybe two days I had bought for like me and her. Two times rather. Then grocery. I had a, that's another thing. I had my, last week, $200 for my envelopes that I took out. So I think I had like $50 in there for grocery. Um, I might have did, that's what I didn't do. Home. I took money out of home, but that went to the paper towels and all that stuff. But anyway, focus your sheet though. I ended up adding an extra $51.97 to grocery, okay? Then my daughter, I gave her $40. Our total came up to be $355.32. Then down here, um, I did get gas this week, but it's not gonna come out till next week. And then uh, my CPA taxes. I was thinking 360. I gave her 375. And then here are my business expenses, uh, supplies and stuff. I have that listed totally in another thing. So this would probably, um, I just wanted to add this probably if I took, anyway, let's, let's stay focused, Shoshita. So all that came up to $548.87. Here, these are just those bills from here, which I'm gonna start listing them here. So, I did go to the closeout. Y'all, I was so wore out. Like, yesterday, I just came home, got in the bed. I was so, I was still irritated from the CPA situation. So, I just came in and got in the bed. Um, that was February. So, what I did was I put hair, which I'm mainly tracking my hair income on this one. <clears throat> so, I put budgeted $1,300. It was actually $9.98, but then with everything else that I included, it was $16.28. So this is just for tax purposes in the future because after my situation with the tax lady this time, my anxiety was so bad that I, I want to take a tax class to do my own. I want to, I have so much I have to start doing now, prepping. Things I've been doing for 31 years and my hair business is no longer, I can no longer do. So now I have to have a different plan of action. Now I have to start paying quarterly, which I've never paid quarterly. I just always kind of pay at the end of the year, let them take it out and get a refund. That didn't work this year. So that was part frustrating as well. 
needless to say, we're going to do this math here, kind of close this out. And it's not going to really necessarily close out. So we have uh, 16, oh, excuse me, 1628. Yeah, we're going to minus that, the 970 in bills. So we have 658 left, right? Well, for sinking funds, everything came in at 355. See, that's where this is where it's going to get a little difficult. Three, let's say 356. That leaves 302. But as you can see here in expenses, we have $548. So we're missing $246. Like, where is it? And how did this stuff get paid? Now, the CPA, let me tell you, I know where this came from because that was my full day's worth of work on Friday, okay? So, I already know, okay? And either way, Friday, Saturday, these two together, I paid a portion of this or the, the business paid a portion of either one. The business paid either one of these, okay? So, that would be here. So I'm so confused why I'm missing $246. Where's that extra money? The only thing I can think of is the envelopes that I stuffed, but then that's still part of this. So if anything, we could add 70 more dollars to this, but we're still missing some more money. Then I got to thinking, okay, what did I buy Sunday? But that still would have been last week's money, not necessarily this week's money. So I don't know, but we're basically missing $246. I don't know where it's at. We're going to find it, but I'll probably find it. I tried to find it off camera before I even filmed, but I just don't know. So maybe you can tell me where it is <laughs> if you're looking at my budget, because I've been trying to find it. Like I've been trying to find it. Like all this. And okay, let me tell you how I know things. Okay. Let me back up. So as you can see here, I used our, um, spending tracker notepad to track all my expenses because this week I said I'm going to figure out where my money is going and I always suggest this to people to write down what you're spending okay so starting on this goes back on the fourth I started tracking what I spent okay every day I wrote down everything every time I bought something I wrote it down okay so all this is accounted for, and I broke them up into categories. My categories are bill, food, miscellaneous, family, business. Um, sometimes it's products like for the salon. Okay, all that's accounted for. So all that's over here. I did this over here. All that's over here, okay? Where is the $246? Rashonda. <laughs> Let me get my light. So with all that, <sighs> Let's go into this week. I'm going to still do my little um, notepad this week because this was very helpful for me. Um, we also have a weekly expense sticky note coming for the month of notepad, excuse me, coming for the month of March. Let's go here. I'm going to put... 1200 for this week okay no co I, I at this point i'm not paying myself i don't believe i'll just put it down and i'll put down miscellaneous all right bills due this week we're gonna whip out the calendar yeah so y'all can see why last week just destroyed me let's go to calendar So here we are, we got to put American Home Shield. We're gonna pay that on the 11th. And it's $60. Okay, then we have Chase, which I haven't been paying. Matter of fact, Chase needs to be in red. Really both of these actually. American Home Shield, Chase, and Chase is, we want to try to give them a hundred. Navy Federal Credit Union, that credit card is due on the 13th. And we're going to give them 
20. Okay, you guys, let's see um, what our total is here. Um, in red are things that are behind or that I need to draw my eye to. Actually, T-Mobile, I'm on a payment plan. This $50 is not due. I just want to give it to them. So, and then Citibank, way behind. Ulta, way behind. So, let's see what, we, what we're working with. Okay, so we're working. <laughs> Let me subtract this 749. So I have my car note here. I'm just going to hit a button here because let's subtract that. So we're at 560 because it's not going to get paid this week. As you can see, if I'm making 1200 and I'm over to 1300 that leaves me no miscellaneous, no nothing. So $560. That's our guesstimated amount. This is for the week of the 11th. I think we're through the 17th. Okay, sinking funds. One, we got to get that food under control. Um, I'm just going to list them. I'm going to try to cut eating out down to 60. Miscellaneous. Um, I'm going to try to cut that down to 65. Uh, Destiny. I don't know, so I'm going to try to do 40 with her. And grocery, I'm going to try to stay at 65. And I'm trying to think, what else did we pay last week? Those are the, my main categories. Oh, we do have gas this week. I did get gas. And that's going to be, I think, about $65. It was like 65.01 or something like that. So we'll leave it at 65. <sighs> so yeah. Let's get a total for this. So that says $230. That is my guesstimate. Products. Oh, God. Did I get any products last week? No. Um, I'm going to put products down. I think I do need some things. I'm going to do 30 just to see. That puts us at 95. So, let's do 12 minus 560. Minus two thirty. So four ten minus ninety five. That leaves us with a total of three fifteen left.
Okay, so we have a remaining of 315. I'm not even going to try to zero base this out, but if I wanted to, I would probably get, go ahead and split these two up. I'd give Citibank 50, Ulta 50. Um, like I said, I, I don't think I included the 50 here for T-Mobile, so I could also give them 50. Um, I could actually give a little bit to my car note, so it might be something I'm considering. So we're going to try this again this week. I'm going to leave these in here because, matter of fact, I need to find one of those cloth and paper envelopes and stick these in here so I can refer to them. Yeah, now we got to make a tax envelope. But I'm not going to stress about it right now. I'm just trying to pay down this debt. I'll worry about everything else later. Anywho, this is it for this week, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.